Hello everyone, I'm Art 3 from Psychic Gamers and today I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare 2. Yes, it's back to this. Modern Warfare 3 has been messing me around. Now I get host all the time because of my new internet. I always experience loads and loads of skipping around and lag. It's just ridiculous. So whenever it starts doing that to me, I just switch back to one of the older games. And you know what? For all the flaws, Modern Warfare 2 is a lot of fun. I suppose the first thing I should say is a big thank you to everyone who commented ideas on what to play and what to talk about on that what would you like to see commentary there are loads of ideas came out of that and I'm going to be doing a lot of them as commentaries very soon also if you've thought up some more ideas feel free to leave it on the bottom of this video just saying what game you'd like to see what play style you'd like to see and of course what you'd like to hear me commentate about now this is a nuke gameplay all my previous nukes were with one man army not with choose because I didn't sink that low but I kept using one man army to switch out classes and reload all my weapons, like replenish the ammo. But I wanted to do a more rushing nuke. So I switched out to this rush class here. I mean, here I'm sneaking around a bit because everyone seemed to host my grate. So I have no idea where people are and where they're spawning. But then I go out and start rushing around again. This class consists of the UMP silenced for if I want to pick off people from a distance, but quietly. Now I've got the spas for up close. The spas isn't like that crappy spas in Modern Warfare 3, this actually does some damage so it's a really good weapon, I like to use it. It's slightly overpowered but you know, whatever gets the job done. And then my class is Extreme Conditioning, Stopping Power and Commando Pro. Not that I normally knife but I like the no fall damage. And of course my kill streaks are the usual setup of Harriers, Chopper Gunner and Nuke. I might do some more Modern Warfare 2 gameplays in the future. Before I got Modern Warfare 3 I only had one nuke but since I've been going back to Modern Warfare 2 and playing it, I'm probably up to about 10 now. Not all of them I've got recorded, I missed a couple, but um, I have got a lot of nukes recorded, so I could put up some gameplays, and I keep going back to get more nukes, because getting nukes, although it can be frustrating when you get buzz killed, it is a lot of fun to do. So what I want to ask before I get into my commentary is, do people want to see Modern Warfare 2 gameplays? Do you want to see me do nukes with different weapons, perhaps really poor weapons? I don't know, suggest me a class and I'll try and get a nuke with it. Right, and finally, it seems like quite a long introduction I've done here, but regardless, what I'm going to talk about today is the nuke versus the Moab. So, as you all should know, the nuke was Modern Warfare 2's variation. It ended the game when you called it in, it killed everyone, including you. You got loads of points for it, ended the game, so even if you were losing, you could win the game for your team and you needed to get 25 kills, but not necessarily just with your gun, you could do it with your kill streak. So it's a lot easier to get than the Modern Warfare 3 mode. The Moab in Modern Warfare 3 requires you to get a 25 kill streak using only your gun. I think you can use your grenades and stuff as well, and of course your knife, but basically no kill streak, so unassisted. When you call in the Moab, it takes like 10 seconds to go off, then it kills all of the enemy team, and it gives them an EMP for one minute, as well as covering the map in the sort of brownish fog. Personally, I think the Moab is a terrible kill streak. I really can't see the point of it. I mean, it has the benefit of always being on, so if you go on a really good kill streak and then think, oh, I should go for a Moab, then you don't have to worry about whether you've set it as one of your kill streaks. It's always there. But the reward is just terrible. I mean, you have to get 25 kills in a row unassisted, which is damn hard. I mean, I've only done it three times. But then, what does it do? It has the same effect as an EMP, but gets you a multi-kill for a couple of hundred points, and of course a few hundred more when you call it in. But regardless, when you can get an EMP in support without even needing a kill streak, I don't know. I mean, my arms are very prestigious. That's the only reason I'd, I'd go get them for the sort of bragging rights of having one. But personally, I don't think they have a good kill streak at all. I think the nuke was a lot more effective and a better kill streak. I mean, it's very controversial. They took the nuke out of Modern Warfare 3 because people didn't seem to like being nuked, especially when they were winning. And then suddenly, bam, nuke comes in, they lose the game. I consistently see people rage quit when I call in the nukes. It's just the feed is full of people disconnecting. But when you get a Moab, I don't really notice that many people quitting because, you know, it doesn't make a difference for them. They're still going to be playing the game. And those running Assassin Pro aren't even going to have their HUD removed from the EMP. Personally, I think it would have been a lot better to have switched around the Moab and the Tactical Nuke. 
So the tactical nuke should have been the 25 kill unassisted kill streak, and the Moab should have been a 25 kill, you know, use your kill streaks to get a kill streak because it would be a lot easier to get, and then it doesn't do quite as much damage. What do I think they should bring back in Black Ops 2? Well, I don't even know if they will. They purposely left it out of the game in Black Ops. I mean, they saw Modern Warfare 2, they saw the nuke, they chose not to put it in. And the reason they chose not to put that in is because the kill streaks don't stack on Black Ops. So you have to get all of your kills with your gun. It doesn't matter how many kills you get with your kill streaks, you can't get any further kill streaks just using the previous ones. For that reason, obviously, it would have to be the Moab. Although, like I just said, I reckon they should have the tactical nuke sort of effect so it ends the game. What they want to call it, I don't care, but preferably I'd like to see an end game nuke that you have to get 25 kills unassisted with. That's what I'd like to see in Black Ops 2. That's what I hope they do, if they do anything, because honestly I don't think the Moab is worth the work and the tactical nuke is a little bit overpowered for how easy it is to get. So there you go, just my opinion. If you want to share your opinion, be sure to put it down in the comments below. And of course, if you want to suggest any gameplays or commentaries you want me to do, put that down there as well. If you wouldn't mind rating, that would be appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I shall see you next time.